Hey, what's up? Easy Overdose here. I'm going to show you how to diagnose and remove a Bitcoin miner Trojan off your PC. These things are most noticeable in games because they will just kill your FPS. So you can see here, got 60 FPS while we're recording at 30 FPS. No problem. GPU is running about mm, 85% load, 85 to 90% load. And what these things do is they will make your GPU load maxed out. They will push your GPU to its limits. You might also notice a, a spike in usage on your CPU as well depending on what CPU you have. If you have a lower end CPU with less cores and threads it will be more noticeable than if you have a 12 thread CPU. So I know that the miner that's on my machine is trying to reach out and call home and grab data every minute or so on one of these IP addresses that's going to port 9001. So what I'm going to do is just uh, disable PureBlock, which is like IP filtering software, which serves as a firewall in a sense. And when it finally grabs the data it needs and starts crunching the bitcoins, you can see the FPS plummets. Struggling to hold 30 FPS now. Went from locked 60 no problem to can't even hold 30. And now you can see the GPU load is pegged at 99%. Just run full blast. You can also see the CPU load went up a little bit. Uh, you can notice that the thread that was processing the draw calls actually went down because that fluctuates with your FPS. And so now I'm scrolling down my process list and I can see MDM. So just a no icon file called MDM and it is using the most resources even more than the game and the recording software. So I can go over into the detailed breakdown and you can see that MDM is the only thing that has a description that is not like a real description. It's all lowercase letters. It just has its own file name. So that is the red flag you're looking for. So then you right click on an open file location. You can see that it's inside of app data roaming and handbrake inside a folder called caches and what you're looking for is date modified and date modified is basically the same date on every single file uh, 510 and I know that I installed handbrake months ago so what I'm going to do is just show you that I'm still getting like 30 FPS and lower and then bring task manager back over and I'm going to end task on this process and you can instantly see FPS right back up to 60 GPU load drops down so what I do is since I'm confident that I think that entire folder is no good and has nothing to do with handbrake even if it did have something to do with handbrake and it broke handbrake I would just reinstall it I'm going to delete the entire folder. Now what these uh, Bitcoin Trojans like to do is they like to set a task in Task Scheduler to run at logon. So I go into Task Scheduler and I scroll down to find a task that I actually created, like a user created task. and all of the user created tasks are like consolidated together so I just go through the list and I'm looking for it and you can see it right there MDM update task machine core and then you can go to the actions and you can see that start location is the location that I just got done deleting so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this entire task and that's it Bitcoin Miner Trojan is now gone. No problems. So that's it. It's a pretty simple process. It's important to know what's running on your machine. Like you should be familiar with your process list. That way when something odd pops up like that, you know instantly that that does not belong there and you should start investigating it. And that's all I got. So thanks for watching. Keep your shit clean.